so dear students today we are going to do a practice of diary entry there are two writing skills in your syllabus this time diary entry and descriptive paragraph okay so both the things i have already been done but i'm going to make you revise okay but you are supposed to do the same thing in your peer notebook also so start writing diary entry see whenever you are going to do diary entry you have to follow some of the certain rules you have to keep all these rules in your mind yes the rain story writing is also in your syllabus we have already done it so many times okay beta so in a diary entry you have to follow correct format for correct format you will be scoring marks okay so what is the correct format you have to write down day then date okay time time you can write down here also and here also okay both the ways are correct and then do your diary here you have to write down content your content should not exceed 120 words your content should be written in 100 to 120 words but bachche i just want to tell you when you write down date you write down full day like today is thursday so you are supposed to write down like this thursday okay full then date date also you write down full date like 3 february 2022 one of the major mistake that you commit while writing time is so many student write down 11 pm 12 pm 3 pm 4 pm it is wrong i will put a cross on that anyone cbse when they are going to check it they are going to deduct your marks for that in class 10 also because see uh, diary is a piece of writing okay diary is supposed to be written when you are going to bed so before going to bed you are supposed to write down diary so it's better that you write down accurate time that is 9 and p and m that should be written in a small letters these are the small small things but these are also counted and marks are deducted for that so bachche keep these points in your mind you are supposed to write down 9 pm then dear diary okay and when you are going to write down diary some of the points you keep in your mind that diary is a personal piece of writing so whatever is going in your mind in your heart okay so you are writing about all the things when you are doing diary entry don't think that you are writing for your examination purpose think that you are talking to yourself these are your personal feelings and nobody is going to read those feelings when such kind of assumption will be in your mind then you will be definitely scoring diary good marks in diary entry just imagine that you are talking to yourself it should not seem like that you have written 120 words a paragraph it should seem that you are putting your complaints you are putting your feelings your ideas whatever is going in your heart okay so you are going to share all the things with your diary and no person will read your diary these are quite and quite personal suppose you have grudges against somebody you have complaint against somebody you want to appreciate someone you like someone okay you hate someone okay or you have some expectation you have your personal desires uh, internally you feel sympathetic for someone you want to do something okay so like that all the things that which go in our mind but we are not able to share with someone it happens in everyone's life sometime you can say you have seen one person and you are feeling so much pathetic so much sympathetic for that person you want to do but you are not able to express yes i am feeling i am so moved to see that person i am so moved to see that beggar i want to do something okay so what what kind of feelings would arouse in your heart you are supposed to write down all the things so for that i have taken one of the diary entry first of all you write down this format you write down this format afterwards i will be giving you one question and you will be doing that question okay 
So write down this format. Hurry up. Write down. Have you written this format? Shall I move further? Governor is raising his hand. Yes, Governor, what do you want to say, Beta? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Ma'am, I have a doubt that when we have to start uh, diary entering uh, from the second line of the uh, dear diary. Yes, it is a rule that you are supposed to write down day, then date, then time, then dear diary afterwards. There is no need to skip any line. But this is the correct format. Yes, time can be written here also. It is also correct. But if you write down time here, that is also correct. Both are accepted. Okay. Otherwise, okay. after Thank your diary, you are supposed to write down your content. Okay, so Bacha, now I'm going to give you one of the question. You write down this question as it is in your notebooks. So write down. You are Mohit Mansi. You are Mohit Mansi of class 9th B. You paid a visit to an old home. You paid a visit. To an old home with other NSS with other NSS volunteers, volunteers. Make a diary entry. Make a diary entry. What you saw. Make a diary entry. What you saw. And experienced there. And experienced there. Suppose you are Muskan, sorry, suppose you are Mohit or Mansi of class 9th B. You paid a visit to an old home with other NSS volunteers. Make a diary entry what you saw and experienced there. Okay, so you have to write down about this. So, how will you start your diary entry? Type in chat box. Start typing in chat box what you are supposed to write down here. Day and date. Day and date. So what day is today? Thursday. Then full date. Then time. Then dear diary. Now, before, after this, you will be making a rough draft. Whatever the ideas coming in your mind, you jot down all the ideas. Okay. Jot down all the ideas in rough. Then arrange all the ideas in a systematical order. Okay. In a systematical order, you jot down all these ideas. 
in order to frame your diary so whatever the ideas which are coming in your mind start typing in chat box all of you are supposed to write down one one idea one idea two idea what is coming in your mind what did you see there see when you get a chance to go and old home old home means aged person were there you were able to see aged person there okay those who don't have house so that's why they were living there okay and you have gone there with other nss volunteers Dhiren is asking me there should be full sign at and it is okay. Beta, if you write down initial also, that is also write down. If you put put like this also, it is also okay. Okay. So you have to first of all write down the physical description that where did you go old home. Okay. You have to physically describe that which kind of place was there. If old people would be there, so definitely it would be peaceful area. So it was a peaceful area, or you can also write down that this old home was situated in a with a very peaceful surrounding, peaceful surrounding. Yes, all of you type in chat box. Okay, this old house was so much. spacious okay there was a lot of space where you found those people okay ridima has written yes there was greenery everywhere so you can describe the outlook of that old home physically that how it was looking okay in that old house you found a good library also that so many people were reading books you found a very good library okay and which uh, when if you get a chance to go in a old home so what kind of you can say what age of people would be there tell me mostly mostly above 60 or you can say senior one senior most you found only Senior most people there, they all were near about sixty plus. Okay, and see when senior persons would be living there, so definitely the area would be the area would be very much clean area, clean area, well maintained because they have experience in that. they are very particular about that so they have good yes any other facilities that you have found any other facilities you have found other facilities tell me whatever the hints coming in your mind good homely surrounding okay hurry up type in chat box yes there is one permanent nurse appointed nurse appointed for them there is one permanent nurse appointed for them see bachche this example i have taken from your 10 year question paper and this was a this is a sample okay so do it very very carefully it can be asked such kind of diaries can be asked so do it very carefully yes co workers were very kind yes you found that co workers co workers they were kind and generous person
and any other point that comes in your mind hurry up you come you came to know that doctor visits there doctors pays a visit there pays a visit there regularly regularly doctors pays a visit there yes then there are other source of entertainment for them so because earlier i have told you that there was a library see other source of entertainment source of entertainment means recreation source of recreation recreation we can say entertainment that for old people there were other source of recreation okay yes what did you notice there that special bond among all person you notice that there was a special bond love care among all among all now these were the things that you noticed but internally after looking at all the things internally how did you feel that you have to describe your feelings yes i'm getting a side beta you can jot down these hints with the help of these hints you can frame your answer you can tell about your view points that why these old home are occurring because of this integration in joint families joint families are disintegrated people are becoming mean selfish they don't look after old people and this is the reason that old people are abandoned they don't find place in their house and they are shifted to old home old homes because they don't have any options with them at all okay it is really unfortunate that they are not looked after by their children by their own children they are not looked after so now they don't have any option they have to take a shelter in old age home okay i was so moved i was feeling so pathetic to see that their own children are not looking after them i'm so surprised at how such kind of children can do uh, such kind of things with them that they have abandoned their parents those who have given them birth those who have given this life they have abandoned them so it was my first experience to go there i was so moved to see that scene yes so many students are typing in chat box that's good i'm reading your content whatever you are typing so now stop typing that's good you have typed so well now start writing this diary entry in your notebook okay i'm giving you time okay you frame this diary entry okay i'm giving you this as a homework we will be discussing it tomorrow i will be listing from you you spare some time on this homework spend 15 to 20 minutes on this homework okay pick up all the hints pick up and because in class uh, you have to spend near about 15 minutes on that's better that you do it as a homework i will be listing it from you tomorrow so that you can jot down your ideas also you sit aloof think over this and make a very good piece of writing about this diary entry but it should not exceed word limit it should be written in 100 to 120 words after doing discussion we will be doing it in fair notebook okay now after words uh, i just want to tell you that before the beginning of these online classes when you have exam in december and there were two offline classes for some days at that time i have discussed narrations with you in detail okay but when i checked your uh, uh, exam i thought your response was not so satisfactory so i that's why i utilized those two three days to teach you narrations but today i have thought that i should make you revise this topic in detail but i am going to teach you narration from the very 
beginning from the scratch i'm going to start from the scratch because if basics would be clear to you only then you'll be able to understand other narration because in your paper basic narrations can be asked interrogative imperative exclamatory that can also be asked but basics should be clear so it's better that i'm going to give you very one simple table at a glance if you look at that table all the rules you will be able to recall easily okay so bache pay attention because the all the narration you have been doing from class 6th and now you are in 9th class so it's mean that you should score 4 on 4 in this narrations but still students were not able to just try to recall how many marks did you score in your december exam in pt3 exam when narrations were there because basics were not clear to you so it's a time that you recall basics okay and then you do narrations according to ninth class because in a ninth it doesn't mean that basics would not be asked basics would also be covered so let's do this see in sixth seventh eighth class how did you do narrations you have done four four sentences were asked in your paper and you were supposed to do but in ninth class one uh, dialogue delivery is given and one paragraph is given half of the narration is already solved and half of the narration you are supposed to solve so pay focus on this and this narration table also you have to do in your fair notebook but before doing this thing i just want to tell you when to apply these rules see for example i said to you i am teaching i am teaching you grammar so this is said to this is a reporting verb this said to is a reporting verb and this whatever i have written in these inverted commas this is a reported speech this is a reporting verb and this is a reported speech and these rules are going to be followed when reporting verb is given in past tense said is given okay so this reporting verb is given in past tense so now all these rules will be followed you should know this thing that it is known as reporting verb and this is a speech this is a dialect that dialect is known as reported speech now here i'm going to make a table very simple table you jot down as it is but i will be giving you time to jot down first of all you pay attention see if you are reported speech this speech is given in present tense or present tense plus s or es is added it means if it is given in present indefinite tense it will change into past indefinite tense it means this is given in present in definite tense it will be changed into past in definite tense clear and if it is given in present continuous tense is am r plus verb first form plus ing if it is given in present continuous tense it will be changed into was were plus verb first form plus ing past continuous tense okay so this is the very first rule this is the second rule and next third rule we have if it is given in has had plus third form it means if present perfect is given present perfect tense is given then this present perfect tense will be changed into past perfect bachcha do it very very carefully because now you are able to recall your tenses rules also okay so do it carefully and try to recall these things you have been doing for last 2 3 years 
there is a time to recall and these rules are going to be implemented again in 9th also in 10th also so you keep these notes with you very very carefully you retain it carefully so has have plus third form present perfect tense it will change into had plus third form it means it will change into past perfect tense and these rules are applicable when reporting verb is given in past tense said is given said to is given told so it said to will change into told in place of comma in what it comma that for example now i am teaching you so how will it change i am teaching will change into what type in chat box according to these rules what will be the answer of this line i said to you i am teaching you grammar hurry up i will be appreciating that child who would be writing correct answer in chat box hurry up start typing start typing very good it is pranay or pranshi pranay yes pranay is the first one to send me correct answer very good okay dhiren is the second one to send me correct answer it means only pranay and dhiren they both are present in class what about others why are you not able to type okay jasleen very good so prane dhiren jasleen all are sending me correct answer very good really impressed it means this concept is clear to these three children these three students others are taking rest others are least bother to type their answer in chat box bacche these are very this is a very important concept bacche you have to do it carefully you are going to score four marks for that do you know any of your sibling any of your cousin any of your friend who reads in 10th class who has appeared for 10th exam in 10th question paper you can see there were four marks for these narrations and these narrations were so simple mcq forms were given but if you know the rules only then you will be able to do mcqs okay so diksha jasleen khosla very good they all have sent me correct answer so bachche write down next rule after that we have fourth rule fourth rule is when second form is given it means when past indefinite is given so this past indefinite will change into had plus verb third form it means past perfect okay clear and if was were plus verb first form plus ing is given it means past continuous is given then past continuous will change into had been plus verb first form plus ing past perfect continuous past perfect continuous clear so past and definite is there past continuous is there we have done suppose we have been given will and shall plus verb first form it means if future tense is given future indefinite is given so when it is given in reported speech then will and will will change into would shall will change into should but with that only verb for first form will remain same okay so this rule you have to follow
and if any model is given like can me can we change into could me will change into might with that verb first form will remain same can will shall may might okay so bachche keep these rules in your mind okay must will remain same must will not change in some of the cases must is change into had to but you do only up to this so these are the basics that i have taught you if you go through these basic rules then narrations will be very much clear to you tomorrow i will be uh, listing diary entry from you and i will be giving you one of the exercise on narrations also afterwards you will you will become very much proficient in doing narrations okay then i will be teaching you interrogative type simple narrations and then interrogative type so you do same things in your fair notebook and keep these notes very very carefully with you these notes will be beneficial to you in your next classes also okay bachche now i'm going to over your class take care of yourself do not put off till tomorrow what you can do today so whatever is discussed today you do on the same day in your notebooks clear beta okay